Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Today I came home from work and I actually had a few nice things waiting for me from Amazon, mostly for convenience purposes. Um, I'm sure I could have found some cheaper prices somewhere else. Um, well, maybe not sure I didn't do too much research, but I went against my credo and spent some money, um, which I'm really trying to save for a new car right now. But seeing as it was my birthday last Saturday, um, as you may know from my previous video where I got skunked going fishing, that was on my birthday. Um, go ahead and click on that in the link. And pretty much I had some money left over from family and that sort of thing. So it wasn't savings or anything that went into this. Um, so let me just show you what I got. This is for upcoming videos as well and for an upcoming trip to Myrtle Beach that we'll be doing. Um, so I'll be doing some fishing down there um, the last week of August going into September. We'll see how, uh, how that turns out and how that plays out. Hopefully I don't get skunked. Um, I obviously know that there's fish there. I have fished there before. We go there every year um around the same month or that sort of thing so uh without further ado let's see what we got um i won't be doing like a full review or anything um until the time comes where i actually install this stuff and uh we'll go from there but uh let's check it out so the first thing we have the biggest box here is uh like you can tell i'm excited right um, a newport vessels electric outboard motor um it's built for salt water and for uh fresh water uh, it's a 46 pound test. I don't know that I need any more than that for a kayak. Um, I've seen some people using the 36 pound and that sort of thing, but we'll see how it goes. It's my first ever motor. Um, I've only had the kayak and a canoe back in the day, so it should be good enough, especially for fresh water. Um, but it is a saltwater motor, so it should handle the trip, upcoming trip to Myrtle Beach as well. The cool thing about this is obviously just like a kayak, some people said it might be overkill and that sort of thing to throw one of these on a kayak, but the whole thing is I'm still very portable. I could go ahead and throw it on the roof um, and this just in the trunk, you know, and that sort of thing and take right off and go fishing wherever I wanted to and even carry it to the water if I had to. Whereas a boat, you need to find a boat ramp, you have to find you know, all that kind of stuff as well. So there's still a point to it, and it's so I could get to less accessible water um, or from uh, easier accessible spots instead of going to a boat ramp and that sort of thing. So um, I'm not going to go ahead and pull it out just now, um, but I'll show you the other things that I've got. Uh, this is a little five pound Navy anchor. The reason why I chose this thing. Um, pretty much based off of the reviews and reading some forums and what people have described. And I didn't want something that could get stuck on the bottom, like the little star-shaped uh, anchor that separates like a five point or a four point, um, because they do tend to get stuck. And this one has holding power in the sand, whereas the other one uh, can keep pulling or dragging or whatever, and you'd be moved off your spot. So the other thing is, since I'm gonna be in a heavy tide type of area, um, I needed a quick release system, which if you haven't looked it up yet, I'll include a couple links. It's, uh, I guess, short for QRAS, and what that stands for is obviously Quick Release Anchor System. And what it does, basically the main point is you attach your anchor to a float, such as this, that I'll have here. So this will attach to my line, and it'll float right in the water and I will have another line to my boat with something called a cam cleat, which holds that rope for me, the anchor line. And if anything, ever some debris or something hits the line or the wave picks up or the tide is too strong, instead of getting dragged under, I'll just pull on the rope, it releases off the cam cleat and you're free to go. And then you just circle back around and since your anchor line was attached to this, you just go ahead and pick this up out of the water and you have your anchor back with you without any further issues. Um, so most of the things I have here are probably just the attachments to that. Aside from the motor, I have to figure out what else I will need to purchase, uh, such as a battery and uh, maybe a box, a battery box for it, that sort of thing. I've seen a couple of cool ones. I'll include a link for that too that I'll probably be buying. It's just a little out of my price range. Um, but they have like a box with the USB out and that sort of thing, so you could always charge your phone and 
uh, use that, you know, to take pictures or whatever you want to do. So uh, that would be kind of cool. But here's the anchor line that I'll be using. Uh, much better uh, than that. So that'll that'll come in handy there. A little carabiner. That's just a computer part. And last but not least, that came in today. Let's see what's in here. Some more stuff for the anchor. Oh, no, that's my cam plate. Um, so let me just show you what this looks like. So you can take a quick look. Basically, this is what it looks like. It's a shame it didn't come with the screws. Um, but pretty much, you screw this down to your, to your deck. Basically, it has little teeth, which, when pulled in one direction, work okay. So you put your rope right in there. And then when your rope gives it force and pulls back, these gears just hold on to that. So it only works in one direction. So let me just show you how that works real quick. So basically, as you can tell here, you have your anchor line. You just drag that right down the middle, just like that. And so it goes in this direction. It'll go in this direction, but when it gets a tug from this side, it just won't go. So it holds it right back. So these are spring-loaded, and they have the little gears that'll hold this in place. If you give it too hard of a tug, um, I'm not sure if it'll just rip it right out, but I will have some form of uh, you know, eye loop or something to hold that together. But that's how that would work right there. And uh, when I want to do a quick release, you just pull it in this direction and you're free to go. Drop your line and it floats right back to the top. Hopefully you guys understood that and we'll, uh, we'll reconvene when I'll actually be installing this on my boat and we'll do a video about that as well. So if you have any questions about a quick release anchor system, I think it's a really good idea, especially on a kayak, because I don't want to lose my gear, I don't want to lose myself, and I don't want to fall into shark infested waters if I've just been fishing and there's like fish blood or something in the water. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Um, also look out for that new video coming up on how to install this. Uh, maybe I'll have that out in the next week or two before I get, head out to vacation and doing that fishing. So alrighty guys, take care. Everybody have a wonderful week and enjoy the fishing.